Good afternoon, YIG delegates. I'm Rashawn. And I'm Maddie. Today, YIG, we had opening ceremonies and heard an incredibly inspiring speech by Charles Robert Bone, followed by opening remarks from Governor Jackson Hastie. Afterwards, Governor Hastie was grilled by a wonderful press team during a press conference, which you can find on YouTube at TNCCE channel. In local news, Phil Bredesen now has a 10-point lead over Marsha Blackburn in the Senate race, according to an MTSU poll. Bredesen has the support of 45% of independents and 25% of Republicans, while Blackburn has the support of only 33% of independents and 5% of Democrats. In Memphis, journalist Manuel Duran was arrested while protesting the ICE in front of the Shelby County Criminal Justice Center for disorderly conduct and obstructing a highway along with eight other demonstrators. Although the charges were dropped, he remains in the custody of ICE and Duran's future is still unknown. A zoo in Royal Oak, Michigan has began a new program giving out five pound buckets of animal droppings on April 14 as a part of their Green Fest celebration. This event was created to precede Earth Day and highlight how the zoo repurposes animal waste. However, the buckets will only be, will only be available to the first 1,000 visitors. So make sure you get out there early. And now for the weather with Maddie. On Saturday, temperatures will drop to a low of 30 and a high of 44 with a 70% chance of rain and snow and 15 mile per hour winds. Make sure to bundle up Sunday too when the high will be 53 with a low of 40. As we near the end of YIG primary, re the results in the gubernatorial election will be released tonight at the governor's banquet and remember to vote in the final elections in all offices Saturday. Good night, fellow delegates. Enjoy the rest of your 2018 YIG conference, and remember to follow YIG Press Corps at TNCCE Press on Instagram and Twitter. What did I say? Finally, after like six shots. Mom, I'm so proud.